It says the uh, hangout air is live, but I don't fucking believe that. Let me go to my phone and make sure, because I'm not pulling last week. I'm not going to do that again. Because I poured my heart and soul into that murder house fucking questions, and then it did. it only picked up my voice, and I sounded like I was talking to a wall. I was a Briarcliff patient. Okay, let me see. Well, before we begin, what do you think about them doing another coven season? I don't know. I'm not... I'm not too um, against it. I think it'd be cool. If they do it right, it's my only concern. Exactly, yeah. They've got to do it right. They just didn't didn't do it right. Like, ugh. I hope, like, we can get the writers that were in Coven, I guess. Is that shady? I guess so. Like, (laughs) it is what it is. All right. So the people who are watching, Mary, you know about this, which, by the way, shout out to Mary's channel, Mary Girl Moody, the Freaks of AHS Facebook page. Um, What's her Patreon name? Like, is it Mary Girl Moody? I think so. Mary Girl Moody, Mother Supreme. Shout out. Yes. Um, we did last week a murder house, um, unanswered questions, and it was really me ranting, and I had fun, though, but it turns out it was just my audio, and Melinda and everybody else was mute, so, you know what, it is what it is, but hopefully it, let me see. All right. Starting with number one. So, do we know how, how long uh, Dr. Arden was working when it was the tuberculosis? Uh, Lord, Rez, Michael Sear. What's up? Just in time for question one. Hi, okay. Michael. Hi. Yes. Let me go to my phone and make sure it picks up your guys' voice. Hey. At- doing this again. Melinda, can you say like testing or something? Testing, testing, testing. One, two, three. Five. Six. Anything but that. Melinda, can you say like testing or something? Testing, testing, testing. Yay, I got her voice. Yay, it's working. Okay. All right. We got everybody? <clears throat> Yay. Um, won't well, work. You're missing Kitty. Kitty's not gonna be here tonight, but Kitty is gonna get her time to shine when we do Coven. We're gonna go back and do uh, let her say what she wanted to about asylum because I know she really wanted to do asylum. So, yeah. all right, do we know how long or when uh, Arden, I guess, started? Well, I guess no, because he was in Germany and all that shit. So, the uh, asylum. When it was a tuberculosis place, was, uh, built in 1908. Uh-huh. Keep that in mind. It became a tuberculosis ward. Mm-hmm. When and how the fuck did they hire "quote unquote" Arden? Uh, it, it was a it was a thing in the United States right after World War II that uh, a lot of the imprisoned um, Nazi scientists and doctors and stuff were. Set, um, due to you know the conditions of the surrender of the war, to either go to Russia or go to the United States to work, to work off their uh, their, their oh. or whatever, and he was part of that program. What's their job's name? Nuka. <gasps> mm-hmm. My boy. Hi, Nuka. I forget what the program was called um, back then, but uh, that that's how he came over. Russia also, was like. United States took them all. 
speaking of Arden, like, don't you have to have, like, like, I, I know that he was a part of some, you know, program where they take the officers and they give them their fake IDs and stuff, but, like... Yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about, yeah. But, like, yeah. They're, like, there's no documents or, like, pictures of him or, like, none of that, like... It was, it was shady. That's so shady, like, they hired him like that. Anyway. Well, you know what's really sad is what they did is, is, you know, a couple years before, they just they were had to these in front of camp. You know, we imprison our own Japanese, and then we bring the Nazi uh, doctors and shit over here to work right after dark time. Okay, when the yeah, that's true. That really happened. Briarcliff, which, by the way, like, remember when Asylum was first on TV? Like, they were acting like Adam Levine was like the main character. Like, they were promoting the, the shit out of him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, okay. Anyway, star power. Right. The voice I was mean, huge that year. Okay, when the couple was walking through Briarcliff, they never mentioned Lana Winters, Threadson. They said the famous killer bloody face. But I guess it was just because, you know, they did, obviously, like, if we figured out it was Threadson, though, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, whatever. Because, wait, when, when his son, when Johnny goes to see Lana, that's after Adam Levine's death, right? And what kind of couple goes to, like, an abandoned place and, like, I'll be fine. Who does I, that? I, I'd go. I'm sure there's yeah. plenty of couples who've done yeah. shit like that. I'm sure there's lots of them. Oy vey. They probably have tours specifically for people like that. Oh, yeah. Sure. Absolutely. All right. Yeah. What exactly was the reason the aliens took Alma? Not Who's the, Alma. The babies. The That's baby. Because she had baby. sex with Kit. Remember, because they asked, did you have sex with your oh, wife? Five like, minutes <laughs> after, like, they boned. Like, bzz, they're gone. But yeah. the thing well, I get is, thing it was with the first face. time they had slept together, so she m- must have gotten pregnant, and they knew that? Yeah, yeah, because the aliens came for Alma right after they had sex that night. And then right. with uh, What's Her Face, Grace, the aliens came for her right after they had sex. Well, we gotta keep this in mind, though, because when we flash forward to when they took Grace, she came back fully pregnant, and she said, uh, "He said, how are you? How did you? How are you this pregnant?'" And she said, "Time works differently there. Mm-hmm. So if it's like faster there, wouldn't Alma have already had her child?" But Alma didn't come back. Grace did, and I think, and I just watched this one last night. I think the only reason Grace came back is because that's when Arden killed Kit with the needle through the heart to stop his heart. And he was trying to get the aliens to come back. Yeah. Now, yeah, because did, Alma, how did Alma escape? escape? Like, how did she escape? Alma just appears. Remember when they go yeah, home? She's on the bed. She's Alma's on the bed. just on the bed with the baby. Did they just like throw her from the sky into the house? Like, how did that they work? They beamed her down, Star Trek style. <laughs> right. They beamed her down. I don't know. The, the whole aliens, I, mean, I wouldn't mind seeing aliens if. Well, I don't know. Be careful what you wish for, right? I wouldn't mind seeing the aliens if they're going to explain some more stuff. Because I thought the aliens in this was so rushed in and absolutely nothing was really explained with it. And it just, it, it really threw the season off a little bit with, with the aliens. When it wasn't necessary. I was hoping by the end of the season that Kit would, would have been schizophrenic or something to go along with the whole mental illness thing. And he was just seeing all this stuff. But no, it's truly really aliens. Yeah, I was hoping there would be some kind of just like that too. I was like, it would just be all in his head, and this is just really he's in the insane asylum, and each person that he's seeing or something represents like a patient yeah. or something. Exactly. That would be really funny. I don't know what I mean by why did they let Pepper out? What is? Why did they let Pepper out? Let her that out for what? Means? What? Was that in the? Yeah, that was in the beginning. Like she was out, like on the uh, like. Like outside oh, the asylum, twirling around and stuff. Yeah. Like there's, there's patients there. One of the flowers. Like that was the first. That was the only time we saw like a patient outside of like. That was just weird. Well, in places like that, they they let they let patients you know have sure. outside time and things like that. But if they really did think that Pepper had done what she had done, which they seemed to think she did. Even at the time, uh, Mary Eunice, before she was possessed at that time, was convinced that that's what Pepper did. Why would they let her out there where she could then interact with normal 
citizens. Literally. Yeah, it, it, and it depends. Remember, Pepper's unique. She has very, very unique relationships with people. And right. when she first met Mary Eunice uh, in Freak Show, we already saw that they developed an instant bond. And, uh, you know, and Mary Eunice said, I'll make you my project. And then so we can just assume that she did make other projects and they were, you know, got, have gotten really close. And so she's able to take her out on the ground because Pepper's not going to run off. You know, it, it's, it's a real success. But they're not in prison. They're, they're court appointed by a judge to be in locked placement for their safety and the safety of others. But they're not in prison for a crime. So it's not like you force them. I mean, they acted like it, they acted like when Shelly wanted to get out and get some fresh air, they acted like it was going to cost her an arm and a leg, and it costed her two legs. Mm -hmm. Two legs. Correct. Because Literally. She has, she has a different well, no, 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 no. What cost the two legs was. Okay, they're going to let Pepper out, who they believe murdered a baby, but they're not going to let Shelly out, who bones every guy she sees. But, like, which one are you wanting to bid on? You know what I mean? But do they let Pepper? They didn't. They didn't just open the door and let her roam free. They, I'm sure Mary Eunice was out. Was I mean, yeah, they let her out to get some fresh air, but like they wouldn't yeah. let Shelly. I was like, that's a little because weird. Shelly but... will run. She, Shelly can make the decisions to run or to do something. Probably, they, they know Pepper's not going to do that. Because when I worked in psych, it was the same thing. It's all like risk protection. You know, you, you, you figure out what would be the conscious threat, threat of thought for each person in each you know, type of situation, and then you make a risk assessment based off of that. And Pepper's risk assessment would be really, really low. She wouldn't take off or anything. Okay, this question, I guess it's, I guess it could be, oh, well, it was the 60s and when you know, whatever. But why did they let this, the patients, like, get a hold of, like, matches and shit to smoke? Like, they, they, they do it. It's like, the smoking and schizophrenia are hand in hand. I, I would say 95, 96% of all schizophrenic mentally affected patients smoke. And in a lot of wards, uh, they're allowed to have lighters and matches. It's, it's weird. But there, some wards are allowed to have two lighters. Some words they're not. So it just depends on who we are. Um, like they're in the common room. They're just smoking. Like they have like their own like lighter and stuff. I'm like, yes. mm -hmm. yo, it's they could thing. like burn like this. They could, they could yeah. like escape with just one lighter. Like, okay, like I don't understand that, but I yeah. mean, it's... welcome to the hey, we'll, we'll let Santa out for you know a little while. Literally. <laughs> no, I, I, oh, I, I, boy. For the 60s, with, with the rules and regulations and how it was monitored, was uh, very realistic for lock placement uh, site. I mean, it's a little more run down than most places, and the whole trio of offices arguing uh, uh, Jessica Langs and, 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 and Timothy, um, that was really, really odd. There, there would be no split decision of management like that, but as far as the daily care of the patients, it, it's really accurate, actually. Okay, uh, when... When Sister Jude is making the, the dinner for the Monsignor, and, you know, she has that whole sequence of, you know, the, the red and all that, you know, what she's doing, mm -hmm. did that not look like a scene straight up out of Coven? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> like, that, that's that, that looked like some like, sort of, like, love it. potion yeah. ritual, mm -hmm. some sort of something. Like, that looked like a scene straight out of Coven. Yeah. Like, what was up with that? It's just just playing. It, it, she was playing that type of sultry uh, moment, and it, was, it tapped into a very feminine type character. Same actor. Probably an Easter egg for what was to come mm -hmm. for season three. Yeah, or how the fact that uh, um, Mary Eunice tossed uh, Arden half across the room, and just like uh, Fiona did with Madison and Zoe. The devil. All right. Michelle, witches go to hell. Why is pre-possessed? Yes, pre-possessed Mary Eunice not reporting Arthur's experiments. Bitch? Know, question right? mark. Like why? I don't. I, that, this is where I'm lost with this season. I freaking hate the Arden stuff. I, I I despise Arthur. It makes no sense. There's no reason for it. It's like all of a sudden we have this crazy German doctor who's like making freaking Frankenstein in the basement, which would never happen. And then for what? what? What were those things made for? They, they serve zero purpose in the show. Yeah, you know, other than for something for him to go have his tantrum and kill him off later, but even that, it was like, oh, oh well. Yeah, you, you separate those those beings, whatever they're called, um, from 
Arden, they have no association with anybody else in the cast and anybody else in the storyline. Right. But like, no, it's not even that though. It's like why it was pre-possessed, like Mary Eunice. Like, why would she not go and tell Sister Jude like this is right. what he's doing? Like, why does she not? If she was such that. a pure soul and everything before and everything, why didn't she, like you said, why didn't she have a problem with that? Yeah. That I, I mean, just didn't understand that. Cool. Like she knew they were people because they were out there feeding them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she yeah, she was feeding them. Like she had no problem with them then. Like maybe she I don't know. Like that goes along stuff. with the theory that like she was never really like that possessed. Okay. Well, well, what she was Timothy, and Timothy could have just been coming for him because he knew they're out there too. I didn't catch what you said. Um, no, Tim- was... Timothy, uh, what's his name? R- R- Fines? The Monsignor. Uh, Monsignor, yeah. He, he knew they were out there. She could have told him and he was just coming for him. Literally. She didn't say, she didn't, not a peep. Didn't tell anybody. I was mm-hmm. a little, I'm a shady. Shady, <laughs> shady, shady. What was planted in it? Like, you know, that little, it looked like a, like a little spider thing. Like, what was that planted in him? Like, was it to (laughs) monitor? Like, obviously they knew where he was. Like, what was that for? Like. Yo, hold on. I got to catch the door. I'll be right back. But these dogs are crazy. We're in the podcast. Oh, the puppies. Um. Yeah, what the fuck was that thing planted in Kit's? What was it? His neck or his the back of his? Like, what was that? All right. Why did the prostitute not take anything from the Nazi collection to go along with her running to the police and saying, "Yes, I found all sorts of crazy, weird shit in there," and like she didn't take one piece of evidence, and that was why Sister Jude had to do all what she did with uh what's his face to prove that he was like she didn't grab anything i guess it was the spur of the moment run the fuck out of there but that was a headache why exactly did the demon go into mary eunice why why her maybe because she was the purest out of the group from what we've seen from all the others she seems like, I mean, not that she was innocent, but she seemed the purest out of the group. True. But, I mean, if she's the purest one, wouldn't that be the most hard one to get into? You that know would what be I mean? The, that'd be the one they'd want. That's why True. they always want virgins and pure souls and, you know, things like that. Literally, like, I only have, like, uh, so many more uh, questions. <laughs> okay. Um... <laughs> Why could the Mexican see Mary Eunice like was the devil? Like, why her? I think she was just a very spiritual woman. I think that's what that was. She seemed very ingrained in her uh, faith. Who? The question was, why was the Mexican the only one who could see that Mary Eunice was possessed? Why, why was that right there? <laughs> yeah. Literally. <laughs> like, I don't understand that whole Anne Frank thing. Like, was that... Wasn't. Like, that was just so unnecessary. Like, what? Well, how is it? Uh, I got both of my cameras on. That's yes, it. we got the puppy monitor. <laughs> we got the Michael and then the puppy monitor. Yes. <laughs> Making sure he's Nukes, behaving. Nukes, is, is Nuka still there? I don't see him. I don't think so. Well, all right. That was weird, the whole Mexican thing. Like, she just saw her, didn't tell anybody. Anyways. All right. How did this Anne Frank bitch know all what she knows? Her uh, The reasoning was... Oh, she That's saw some question. newspaper clippings and whoop yeah, bam. Correct. Yeah, correct. Yeah, she saw newspaper clippings. She got obsessed with it. She learned everything she could. She was Anne Frank. But I, why? Because we had a German doctor in there? It can't be just because of some newspaper clippings. Like, it's, what? It's, it's so random. I, it's think, so random. I think she probably got obsessed over the newspaper clippings and then probably did more research into it, is what it looked like. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe she just like concocted like other little stories. Like she got some right, but then she just exaggerated. Like I didn't understand that. It was so unnecessary. Like what? Well, because it's like why and Frank, and you know, it could have been anything, but we use the whole and Frank to tie it to, you know, the Holocaust and Arden. Yeah. I just why the I fuck just did the aliens get Grace? Was it because the baby? The baby. Yeah, the baby. The, the but then again, in the future, we were told, or we it was a rumor yeah, that the children were going to uh, go head to head with Michael. None of that happened. Uh, yeah, all the rumors. You can't believe those rumors for preseason. They, they're never right. So, like, what the fuck? Those kids. They're never right. What is up with those goddamn kids? Where well, the fuck we, are they? Like, are, are they ever going to be in a future season? I, I don't know. I, I, if, if there's going to be something, I mean, there's, there's more than 10 seasons now. We know that. We heard that confirmed. So if there's going to be something, it'll have to be in the future with those kids growing up or whatever to see what, what the hell's going on with them. But I don't know. I, I, I have a feeling that maybe all we get of them. All right. All right. Arden, wait, Arden never asked uh, Mary Eunice what she was. Yeah, okay, like, he never, like, straight up said, like, how are you doing these things that you're doing? Like, that bitch talks him across the room, like, he's saying a bunch of shady shit threatening him and stuff, and he's still, like, fondling with her, and he's not asking her, like, exactly what the fuck is going on with her, like, none of it, like... Before he even realized, yeah, that she was full and possessed, and he didn't even think, like, wow, this is weird, what's going on? None of it, like, he was just, like, okay, like, he was just, like, okay, you, you're, you got all of a sudden all these powers and shit, well, all right. Like nothing. Like okay, that was that was weird. I was like nothing. That there should have been at least a conversation. Like like what the fuck are you? Like how are you doing this? Nothing. Why is Pepper chosen to protect Grace? Why Pepper? What did the aliens want with Pepper? Uh, Pepper. Pepper is interesting because um, Pepper is, I think. An evolving character. I think that they 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 hired her to play this off the wall character that is supposed to be unsettling in the um, asylum. Yeah, the way she looks. And, and then all of a sudden she has magic powers, and then they figure out the different picture. So it was it was her. She's evolving. It wasn't thought out from the start. Now you're echoing on your. Oh, I got to go yeah, you sound a little robot I didn't really catch yeah, what you well, said. I'm right by the other one. I'll be right there. I think there was, again, with that innocence, and I think that was kind of a theme of this season because of the spirituality thing, it's innocence yeah. and purity. And I think that was partly Pepper, too, was, mm -hmm. we, as we know, even with her backstory and freak show and everything, just... That innocence well, like of I said, her. The yeah, innocence like I said, I don't think the backstory was ever thought out. You know, is it, when they decided to do freak show, they're like, oh, we'll use that character. But I think for, for Asylum, the uh, first initial intention was just for her to be this patient who was visually unsettling, kind of a mystery, kind of, you know, strange. And then they'll give her these magic powers at the end and, and it never really explain it. That, you know, this, this, strange girl with you know the strange look and everything was the one that was you know pure of heart or, or whatever and then he yeah just because said, she oh, knew yeah. that uh threadson was bloody face she said i i know i'm on to you i know we, i know who you are you don't fool me yeah she said that to threadson so like they gave her like whatever they gave her like she knew exactly what he was they gave her insight or intuition or something yes so, some, some sort of mental connection with people so does that mean, I guess people out here are saying, whoa, wait a second, are you guys, uh, are you guys implying that the aliens are the ones who created witches? Maybe. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. That, that actually would be really cool or, to kind of bring everything together because, um, you know, we already know, not season nine, but at least maybe season 10, the witches are going to be back. Why? 
But if the witches are back, maybe the aliens will have something to do with them. That's another goddamn thing. If there's only going to be 10 seasons and they're not no, coming more. season nine, like, no, no, that's 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 more. they've already announced they're doing more than 10. Good. But they're only doing up to 10 on for it. They're only doing 10 on FX. On FX, I think. Yeah, I think it's going to get moved over with uh, Murphy yeah. to Netflix, probably, with his, you know, $330 million deal. Yeah. They said many more seasons. Yeah. Possibly a spinoff? We, we, may, never, we may never get answers to a lot of these. I, so the when the show goes it. from FX to Netflix, does that mean we start on a clean slate? And like, No. 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 He'll be, okay. He, it's possible that he buys out the show from Netflix and he brings it over to brings the whole catalog over to Netflix because it was on Netflix oh before, wasn't God. it? Do you know how much they're going to charge him for that just because they know they can? Yeah, exactly. Because he's always said that's his baby. Like, so they if he goes, he's some, taking it with him. They have, so, yeah, they they have something with Netflix because it was on Netflix before. Wasn't all the seasons on there except for uh, Apocalypse? It was not at one point. Wait, what? They were all on Netflix at one point, weren't they? Um, yeah, they yeah. still are. Oh, they are still. Yeah, so yeah. They've got something. I that just finished Netflix. watching Asylum on Netflix. Oh, okay. Yeah, Apocalypse isn't on Netflix though. Is it on? Is Apocalypse on Hulu? No, Apocalypse will be out now. Netflix is always like a year late putting it on. When, when, yeah, after it comes out on home release, and and these shows don't come out on home release until. Almost a year later, the In American Horror Story really the new late. season starts. Yeah, and oh, they yeah, start making it's on Blu-ray FX Plus. Don't you guys know that? Started on that. They don't use Blu-rays anymore for FX FX shows. Mm -hmm. We only got Cult on DVD. Really? really? Yeah, they went backwards. They stopped making Blu-rays of their shows. See, I was going to start buying all the seasons, and then I said, you know what? I'm just going to wait until it's done and get, like, Wait, what the fuck? I only have a Blu-ray player. Like, what? Yeah. Yeah. It's only... Uh, in America, is I had to import my cult... You only have a Blu-ray uh, player. I, I, I imported my cult <laughs> Blu-ray from uh, England. Well, what the fuck? Yeah. It's stupid. Wow. But that's all epic shows. It's sunny in Philadelphia. All of them, none of them are available on uh, Blu-ray anymore. What the chuck? Yep. Holy vey. All right. Grace says the babies are special. He's gonna change people. Well, she said this about her ch her child. Uh, what was his name? The boy. Thomas. Uh, Thomas. Thomas. He's gonna change people. He's okay. gonna change the way they think. So now, back it up a little bit. Now, when she first has the baby in the asylum, okay, when she shows back up after, you know, Arden stops Kit's heart and everything, and he tries to hide her, but Fredson finds her giving birth, and then he brings her out, and they go into the common room, and everybody sees the baby, okay? Right before they take the baby away, everybody sees the baby. How did no one be like, girl, where'd you get a baby from in a few days? No shit, right? Literally. It's like, like okay, nobody, nobody off, asked the question. Everybody was like, oh, yeah, it's Grace's baby. It has to be. Arden was the only one hip to the alien thing. Yeah, first off, <laughs> even though it was the 60s, they wouldn't let her have that baby. Well, that's why they can't. That I'll let go only because they did come and take the baby right after that. So mm -hmm. I can let that go. Like they gave them a little bit of time while they were calling the other place to come and get it. But still, like, what the hell with that, right? And like then two days later, right? Like, and then when she's um holding the baby, when they kick everybody out of the common room, and Threadson gives Kit and Grace some time alone with the baby to bond right before they come to take the baby, um, he oh, all of a sudden her stomach explodes. Like, well, right. First of all, now her stomach's flat, but that's TV magic. But, you know, um, <laughs> Kit goes, he goes, he says something like, is it weird or is it strange that he looks just like me or something like that? Or is it crazy to say he looks just like me? And she goes, no, he looks exactly like you. 
Now that stood out to me because every parent thinks their child looks like them or looks like the other parent and everything. Mm -hmm. So that would be normal, but the way they worded it and the way they said it stood out. So I'm thinking like the alien thing, like what if that's what we're going to get like for an Easter egg type of thing for what's coming later? What if there's like a clone thing that they do? Evan Peters playing Thomas. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, what if it's, yeah, yeah is, maybe the aliens created Thomas or created the babies. Well, see, and that's what I don't understand because they came for both the women after they had sex with Kit and they, they had to have then known they were pregnant because otherwise they would have come for Alma. You know, him and his wife had sex before that and they never came. Maybe they needed the actual being of the baby, the actual embryo of the baby. That's to what I'm saying. Maybe brain. that's what it is. Be, but then when Grace goes in and Alma tells her, you know, just stay still. Otherwise, the, it'll be a lot worse. They literally cut her open. Like, why did they cut her open? What were they doing then? Maybe reprogramming the baby. I guess. See, but well, it's all yeah. This and Alma was shit. like pregnant too. Like she was well pregnant when she like she she walked up to Grace. She was pregnant at the time. Because at some point she says something or someone they say something about they put put it inside me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she so said that. They put the baby inside her. What the hell did Kit do? Why is exactly. Kit important? Why, why, is Kit why, is Kit, yeah, why is Kit important? I mean, That's he, what I've never, he's they, gorgeous, never really specified. gorgeous character, and I'm going to speak for everybody who thinks so because I'm the only woman on here right now, even though you guys are entitled to your opinions, but I'm saying it. That's my favorite <laughs> Evan Peters character. Everybody's always Tate, Tate, Tate. Oh my God, Tate! I don't want a mass murderer. I no, want I Kit. Love right? I love Kit. I, I <laughs> love I Kit. Character. I want Kit Walker. <laughs> and he made two beautiful babies. Come on. I love Kit. Don't get me wrong. Kit, Kit is, is his best character. But why was he important to the aliens? That's why yeah, I can't figure why? out. They never gave a reason. A specific- and why did they? I want to know why he's important because that explains why they take him at the end. Yeah. But why Why do they take him? Did they take him yeah. to keep him alive? Did they take him to regenerate him? Did they take him to heal him? Did they take him just so that he wouldn't die? Did they take him to make more copies of him? What did they do? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, and they ended up taking him again when he had a uh, pancreatic cancer. He That's was, what I'm you saying. Know. When, when they took him at the end, when he had cancer. What did they do with him then? <laughs> like, what did they do then? Like, did they fix him? And okay, him? if time works differently, there, guaranteed, if we see him again, he's going to look just like he did when they picked him up, whenever, like in the 80s or whenever that was. Guaranteed. That was the, that had to be like late, it was late 60s, early 70s, because wasn't it like 68? No, when he had, yeah, yeah, because the kids were how old? When he had cancer. Yeah. No, they were I think it was like the 80s. Mm-hmm. Early yeah, 80s. Yeah, they were grown. So it had been the 80s. So, okay. Late 70s at least. And um, then I think the kids knew that uh, the aliens took him. Because they were like, yeah, the kids said don't mourn him. You know, Yeah, oh, the, the kids, kids were in June. Kids knew. Kids. The kids knew. When they couldn't find their father's body and they already knew. Something was programmed in them to tell them what their father was or why he was special or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like they had to have known. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they knew. They, they they're 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 half alien or something. That those kids. Right. But the the whole point that frustrates me about the whole alien thing is, yeah, it was cool, and yeah, it really led into a lot of you know like this discussion and thinking, and you know why are they doing this and why Grace and why Kit all that, but they never said why. They, they, we had no <laughs> answers to why whatsoever. Um, to even give us a it's something to think about why there there was no reason kit wasn't there wasn't a hint, of, a hint of anything something yeah, to nothing. like lingering and hanging on there was nothing yeah was just, i mean are we going to see them again if if the next season it's going to be like full on alien theme but you got to think though it's something we will get answers to because there was no answer whatsoever not yeah, even no, a hint. Nothing. But you gotta yeah, we got a half ass fucking answer with the fourth child from Constance. I know. But you got to figure when he did Asylum, he wrote that specifically with no idea of a, of a sequel in mind. This is only the second season. So he wrote it intentionally to not have any answers. Holy vey. Yeah, what did the kids do with Jude in the woods? Like, 
she came back a different woman. Like, what the fuck did they do? <laughs> maybe they maybe they brought the aliens down. Huh? We're talking. We're talking about the American Horror Story. I don't know. We're talking about American Horror Story. I don't know. Tell them who your favorite character is. My favorite is Bet and Tom. Bet and yes. Tom. Yes. yes. Have you ever seen American Horror Story? Yeah. Have you? No. Are you allowed to? No. No, why not? Because I'm. it's frightening. It's frightening you. It scares me. <laughs> it scares you. It's good enough reason not to watch it. If mm -hmm. you're little anyway. When I, when I grow up, I can watch it. Yeah, when you grow up, you can watch it. I can't. And hopefully, they'll still be doing seasons by the time. Well, you, you won't be watching it on Blu-ray. No, you won't. <laughs> yeah, see, Lucy. Why did they do that? Like, I just figure that out. Like, not like that I ever bought him. It's my like, DVD. That's all we got. Nah. This one I had Blu ray. I had to import from England. Oh, wow. Yep. No Blu ray in America. And that's me. All right. I love you. Some Take them. Don't mess up with Fiona. <laughs> Don't mess up with Fiona. Yes. That's what she tells me every time she leaves the room. She tells me to say it to her because you have to go through the scarf to get out of the room. No. <laughs> Don't mess up my Fiona. <laughs> All right. Yeah. What did the kids do to June in the uh, June in the woods? Like what? Oh my God, I have no idea. And I really, really want to know, like, because whatever they, they did, why couldn't they do it in the house? Why did they have to go out to the woods to do it? So did they call the aliens or did they do it themselves? I think they called well, the aliens. Well, Jude had already I saw an alien uh, in episode two. Remember? But they probably came to talk to Jude. So Jude has the connection to the aliens too, because she saw right. like the face, like she saw like it was yeah. right in her face. Yeah. Like, and she didn't even question that. Like, she it, she dropped it after that whole incident. Like, never mentioned that again. Wasn't that when she first, like, took a drink of the liquor, though, or something? Yeah, she probably thought she was drunk. So she thought mm -hmm. that's what it was, is she thought she was um, hallucinating or something, though. Oh, Jude. Hey, Jude. I gotta get my Jude out. What the fuck was? What are your guys' interpretation on the ending of the 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 episode? Uh, what was it? Thirteen, like the last one. Yeah, like the last the like minute. Like, was it basically the gist of it was if Lana would have listened to her warning, none of this would have happened? Is that what we? Is that what it was? Like, what was that about? Wait, what is the last scene again? The very, very final if scene. If you look in the face of evil, evil is going to look right back at you. She leaves, and then, you know, it ends, oh, yeah. pretty much. Yeah, well, I, I, th I think it's just, it was a, a story of full circle. It came full circle for Lana. She realized everything that she, she'd done and she'd been through. But, you know, she had some insight that, you know, if I had not messed around with that in the very, very beginning. Yes. She knows where, where we would be. All this. Are those, like, bobbleheads? <laughs> No, Ooh. they could be a little bigger headed. I was going to say, I want a bobblehead of her so I can put it on my dashboard. That would be cool. Like a bobblehead? Oh, yeah. Like Sister Jude driving with mm -hmm. Jude. Yes. All right. What, like, what is the connection of Asylum in any other season? Like, what's the connection with Murder well, House and Asylum? The way I look at the seasons is there's like two tracks right now. It's like you have the one three five uh set and then you have the two force of the even set that, that have connections to each other because you know uh asylum has some connections to freak show freak show has some connections to cult so those are the even uh, even shows roanoke is the exception because roanoke has connection to to both sides of it but right now for, uh the odds don't have any connections with the evens think about it I'm telling you, I'm telling you, they're connecting. They're going to connect next season. Oh, yeah, they're all going to connect. He, already, he, he said they're all going to connect. Next season. But right now, where we stand, there's, there's no connection. I can't think of any murder house connection in Asylum. Yeah, there's not. The odds don't connect with the evens. 
Murder House doesn't connect with Asylum. Murder House doesn't connect with uh, Cult. Well, well yeah, I mean, um, yeah, Cult. Murder House doesn't connect with Freak Show. I mean, there were all definitely a shit ton of hints to it being Asylum in Murder House. Oh, yeah. And especially there was a lot of hints that it would, it would be in Boston or at least in uh, Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes those are really obvious and other times they're not. Just like the Pixar Easter eggs. But what are the, what are their like? I I guess there are some witchy hints in Asylum, right? I mean, um, I forget. It's not. Let me look it up on Wikipedia. They say exactly what they well, are. When, when they call um, when they call um, how how do you say it? What is it? Shakik, Shakik. It was Shack like Shahas or something like that. Shakik. It's Shakik. I know it's got a ick at the end. <laughs> If her name was like Shahas or some Sh Shakas. Some like that. But yeah. That that was spiritual, but that was kind of that was like summoning and calling upon something. Okay, was do you guys think Mary Eunice was like one hundred percent possessed? Yes. I think so. I don't, because when the the previous the the teen the boy who was um, the farm boy who was possessed before her, he had the full on look, the exorcist two point the eyes, everything. He was speaking and just gyrating and murderous and maniac and whatever. Mary Eunice was sly, like sneaky, bitchy, like. But the devil could use use a person any way they want. You know, maybe he felt like, that. You know what I mean? Like, I just feel like Mary Eunice was maybe not little, like. Maybe back to that purity we were talking about, maybe made her stronger because of it. So she wasn't as weak of a soul. I look at possession as like a vessel. It's like he's got this body. Satan's got this body. Can use however he wants. The one kid was probably fighting it and he was he was tearing that other kid's body up. But Mary Eunice, he's like, oh, she's on the ends to all this. I could use her to manipulate other people. Right. That's how I mean, possession. And so when she was, like and this is another thing, when she was talking to that little girl, which we'll test, touch base on her. No, I got a phone to pick. Jenny, little Jenny. She Jenny. said that she was the devil, and she acted like she changed by herself, not because she was possessed. Like she had that whole story of, we had a flashback of her at the pool and whatever. So mm -hmm. like she acted like that had nothing to do with her being possessed. And then when she said, um, you know, she was talking to uh, whatever the fucking edge, angel of death, dark cousin, whatever the fuck. She says, you know, oh, heavenly host. Will you? Like she obviously like she, I mean, she's possessed, but like she was half possessed because then we hear uh, the devil step in and oh shut up and like it's like it was like a battle between the both of them like it wasn't like she was fully yes pepper it wasn't like she was fully possessed you know what I mean like she still had control yeah well that's what some of these when they're fighting and stuff they have somewhat control they're trying to get out of it I don't know I just think that he was able to use Mary Eunice to, to get uh, manipulate people Yes. Trying to find it. For a second, I thought that was Elsa Mars. I'm like, what the fuck is she? But that's the There was name rumors floating around a while back that, uh, I, I, like, right around the Freak Show Hotel time, that Elsa and Jude were sisters. And I forget the whole connections based on that, but they were saying that there's there's little Easter eggs that you could follow that could lead to uh, Elsa and June, Jude being sisters. But of course, you can do that with any. I think they're the same person. Hmm? I think they're the same person. Yeah, yeah, that would be really cool, actually. I, I, I would like that twist. Yeah, I, I think Constance, Jude, and Elsa, and possibly Fiona, but it wouldn't work with the apocalypse twist. Um, are the same got everything. <laughs> I know apocalypse killed everything. What is up with that little girl Jenny? Oh my god, little are we gonna see her again? 
I, I told hope you. we do. I hope we do. All the patients, little side stories in asylum were, were out of left field. I don't know though, because there was something about that character that was very different. And they even came back to talk about how she killed her whole family at the end. Yeah. And then and then they don't she say what evil. happens. She was pure evil. Yeah. She and she was just reading off that script. I would have loved it if, if she ended up being me. See, and there's theories about that, and I read that, and I'm like, oh my god, how cool would that be? Being who? If uh, being Mead, Miss Mead. Oh yeah, yeah, that'd be fun. Like that would have been so cool. I, that would have blasted me off the fucking couch. Like I would not have saw that coming. <laughs> well, we, um, still, we still don't know the real Miss Mead's backstory, like her I mean, as a younger Steve person. Was fucking stupid, stupid. Why the fuck did we see? They had to make her a robot. It was just dumb. But we're not on Apocalypse. We're not on Apocalypse. <laughs> the more I All think right. about Apocalypse, the more I don't like it. <laughs> we're just talking about that. I'm going to read you a theory. <laughs> oh, Lord. Is that the and one you the read? The theory last night? is oh, my God. Bloody Face is actually Lana. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. All right. You guys are going down conspiracy theories. <laughs> the entire time you're watching the season, nothing really points to this until the very end. We see a flashback to the beginning of the season when she first arrives, but we see a more determined Lana, one who isn't desperate for a story, but positive on she's going to get one, which, yeah, I guess, why? Anyways, yeah. the ending seemed to be a battle to battle everyone. Why was it necessary? Well, she's bloody faced, okay? The season utilized something called unreliable narration to go back to your high school English days when you were reading Gatsby. This is, okay, where can we get to the theory part? The gist is that you should, shouldn't trust the narrator just because they're telling the story. Sure. In this case, the narrator is mm -hmm. Lana. She is telling her story from her perspective and her perspective is a lie. How do you know it's a lie? She told us herself. Remember the only scene the only and that any and every scene is important flashback to her book signing. She is overridden with guilt while reading her excerpt. Her conscience speaks to her saying that that didn't happen and she basically was fabricating. Oh yeah, because she did say that there was another mm -hmm. girl with her in the chambers and that wasn't the case. And she also said that Wendy's character was pretty much Wendell, a man. Mm -hmm. She changed so, um, what's to say that the part where she, you know, the other parts of her book were false, you know. Well, when did she say, say she changed Wendy? She did, yeah, she did that in the book when she was doing the reading at the end. Oh, she, she, I think, she, I think Wendy, that was Wendy a lie. Ghost. Wendy's ghost like haunts her or something. Her boy, the voice of Wendy says something to her. Uh -huh. About changing her name and making her. Oh, uh, oh name Wendy name wants her to change her. Name. So she's she's acknowledging that Wendy was a female and she existed in her life. No, she oh. she doesn't. Uh, see, that's that's. I don't know how anybody could believe that because the whole purpose of her being locked in Briarcliff was the fact that Jude was blackmailing Wendy, and because she was a teacher yeah, exactly. and this kind of homeless and stuff. If it was and, a man, man that, been like, get the fuck out of my house. I'm going to go get my wife. Right, and I still don't understand, like, I know you can do the, like, a concerned citizen type of thing and get trying to judge, but it doesn't fully work that way. Not, it, it, it does not work that way. It's 72 hours. Citizen. Yeah, it's a 72-hour hold. If you feel that the person is not safe for themselves or somebody else in society, then a judge steps in and decides. But back in the 60s, remember, the man run, ran the house. And if a right. man goes into a courtroom and says, I can... Take her home and take care of my wife. I just would have released her. So I and believe Wendy was really that, And hence, that's what happened with Anne Frank. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and exactly. What exactly. With that. But I don't understand why it happened with Lana the way it did. You know what I mean? Because I believe that she was the woman. And the woman was being blackmailed. The woman couldn't lose her job as a teacher you know, to, to do all that. And there would be forms that, would, that Wendy would have signed. I think Lana in her... Remember, Lana changed very dramatically as she got more famous. 
she right. you know she started getting full of herself she started so lana could be after the book was published lana could have been starting to change and announce changes to facts of her own self to make her home her own celebrity better that's what i think yeah yeah i don't think she was bloody face but she definitely if she's bloody face what about johnny it did make sense though because if she changed Wendy's character to a male again, like how would she explain being admitted to Briarcliff? That's what I say. Yep, exactly. How would she have explained that in the book? I, I know. She, right there, I, plot gap. Yeah. Yeah. Because that was the whole reason. Like she was even admitted. Like yeah, she was lying. Mm-hmm. So this theory says pretty much Anne Frank possessed Charlotte, whatever her face, the crazy. Anne Frank wannabe was possessed uh-huh. by the real Anne Frank. I don't know. I mean, but how did that bitch know all that shit though? Like, what? I think she just became obsessed with the topic. I I've seen people become. I mean, she couldn't have heard, heard like stories from other. She could not have heard stories from people who survived the apoc- uh, apocalypse. Yes, the apocalypse, uh, the Holocaust, just from some newspaper clippings. You know what I mean? And how much? How, when was that book published? How much was out there about Anne Frank at that time? Yeah, I'm not sure. Well, no, I got to go back though because her husband did say that they went and saw a play about yes, it, so she, she could have. Yeah, all those newspapers and stuff. So she, she was obviously studying her. I just want to know how much information was out about her. Because it, you know, it yeah. takes several decades to learn everything that you know that went on. But I just think I, I hated the fact that it was Anne Frank because I think Ryan put it in there really specifically because he had a Nazi German doctor in there. It was so random. Yeah, I mean, this would have exactly been assessed with any person that went through trauma. Well, that's exactly why he did it so that they would have the connection to point out right. who how, Arden was. But they needed be. someone famous at that point that a name that everyone would recognize and mm-hmm. everyone has read in school, at least the book of Anne Frank, the diary of Anne Frank. But it's or just so convenient. All of a sudden, it. Yeah, they, we have his German doctor in here. And oh, look, here comes a patient that's obsessed with a German or a, a Holocaust survivor. Now we can explain our I, I hate those writing mistakes like that when it's just, things just line up so conveniently. And, it's, and it happens to just be something so random that it could have been a million other things in the world, but it happens to be that just so you could explain this story. It's like, right. it's, work yourselves out of holes a, a different way. I would prefer her to have been Anne Frank. That would have been a cool twist. Right. Mm-hmm. At what point did the... You remember how we had the scene where uh, Sister Dude was meeting with the, um, I guess the head of the Institute whenever they donated, the church donated it to the state. And you remember that scene? Like, it seemed like they had their shit together. Oh, like this, then. The, new people that, the new people that came in? Yeah. And then yeah. all of a sudden it's like years of, I don't know I, I don't know exactly how many years later it was when Lana came back but the whole place had went to shit like mm-hmm. it had been they, they it, 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 it it's based off of that that same asylum um I forget the name of the asylum it's based off of but that's a true asylum and and with, with that exposé that Geraldo did um it's it was all merely because of overpopulation they brought yeah. in way too many people and they overpopulated they couldn't care for them and it quickly yeah. went downhill from that. So and that, that was, was unfortunately we looked at a lot back in the day too with these places. They were overrun, overrun, overcrowded, not staffed properly. They yep. um, they weren't staffed properly. They weren't taken care of maintenance wise. They weren't clean right. It took less than a year to make that place from a nice place to the to the type that it was in Atlanta went. If if the staff just completely gives up caring. It would go very, very quickly. Because remember, with those types of patients, you've got, you know, uh, bathroom stuff is not necessarily done in the toilet. Um, you know, th- th- their food, you know, vomiting everywhere, disease. They don't keep after themselves. So, you know, a lot of them, you know, sort of, you know, cleanliness and making beds and, and clothes and everything. And if the staff doesn't care, that stuff piling up really quick, you, you're going to have a rundown place real yeah. fast. Yeah. So... I know this I know could this probably be because it was the season after um, Murder House. 
and like they probably didn't want to do ghosts again. Like literally, like there was like they mentioned like even when it was still like Briarcliff, like Arden was mentioning to the monster like, like over forty thousand some odd people died here, like no ghosts at all. Like the, they could have at least had like. Something to do with it, but I guess they didn't want to put ghosts in it because it would have been way too much. But like, I think the the whole thing about in the Ryan Murphy universe, I think he explained it in Apocalypse that we're seeing those ghosts because those those places are portholes. Yeah, the house, the hotel Cortez, and the land on Roanoke were were the gateways. So maybe uh, Brackley wasn't a gateway. Hmm. And what the now, fuck? Like, what is up with Lana? Like, I'm not saying I'm not I expected saying her, I her to look, look like, like old, 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 but like, she did not, she did look, not look how old she was supposed to <laughs> Money. Look at Cher. Madonna. Money. Yeah. Yeah. Money. Like, Money. Buy you anything. Oh, Lana. At that point, they were saying she was bigger than um, Cynthia Walters. Do what? At that point, weren't they saying she was bigger than Barbara Walters? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was rich. Look at that that little office room that she had that she was sitting in. It's just... Okay, now it takes me back to that interview. She had a new girlfriend in that interview. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so she finally came out. Did she ever admit in her book that she lied? What? You're you're cutting in and out. Hello. Hello. Is that again? Is that better? Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, but now, since she finally admitted it by having an abortion, did she ever admit that she lied in the book? I, I, I didn't catch her lying in the book. You guys did. I'm assuming. I'm assuming. She would, I don't think Lana would admit that she lied about anything. Lana just go on with her life. She don't care. Okay, okay this is this kind, is of, kind weird. of weird. I don't know if it's a coincidence or whatever, but do you remember when uh, Lena was discussing Kit's uh, third wife, uh, Allison? She said that they met at, at the co-op. What does that mean? Co-ops are like um, you have like really healthy um, the grocery stores, uh, Trader Joe's, stuff like that. Co-ops are things like that. They have like farming stuff in them and and. You know, why does she have to tell us where they met, though? Like the co-op. Is that supposed to be like apocalypse, like cooperative? Like I don't understand. No, no, no. It's a specific type of store, a co-op. But I mean, like, why does she feel the need to say where they met? Like, did it matter? Like, you know what I mean? Like, that was just a little weird. Like, it's just how the writers specified something. You know, it's just who knows. Oh, Asylum. Asylum's actually not as bad as some of the other ones as far as plot holes. Oh, it's one of my favorites. The problem with Asylum is is there's way too much stuff going on. All at the same and they time, some of it doesn't do. pay up. Like, what? There's a lot of different things all at once. Yeah, and it's, a lot of it doesn't pay, you know, pay, pay out. It doesn't you know, justify the means of what they were trying to establish in the beginning. You know, like like the monsters in the forest and the aliens and all this stuff. You, you didn't need all of these components if you weren't going to pay them off. Right. Okay, what was Arden's whole thing with experimenting for, oh, when the atomic blast happens and experimenting, you know, the human race and all that? Like, is that a tie into Apocalypse? Like World War II. They, they dropped the bombs on Hiroshima. Not a second. So they just the world had just experienced nuclear war, nuclear bombs for the first time in, in, in its history. So all these scientists and all these doctors and all people trying to understand, you know, what what does it have to do with the planet now? What what are we in for? What are we trying to learn? I mean, it was, this was fresh for them. It 
And he was a crazy guy. Oh, yeah, that too. <laughs> Why did they drop did off Chelney at the at an elementary school of all places? No, 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 no. no. Not, not, okay, Sister Mary, you mean? Did they drop her off because they opened the door? No, she. They showed Mary Lemon dragging Shelly out, but they never showed where she took her or anything. Yeah. But now, so somebody else I've right. seen before made the point of like that's a long way to drag her. Uh -huh. You know, they had to be heavy. Blah, blah, blah. But no, we saw her we knock to her across the room. So I don't see how that would have been a problem for her to worry about the weight. Yeah, if, if Mary Eunice did it. Well, they showed well, they she showed, cleaned she's cleaned up the lab, the lab. No, for, for Arden and dragged Shelly out. Yeah, that was just all for shock value. Yeah. It's the only reason they did that to Shelly. I hmm? could see Mary Eunice doing that because mm -hmm. she knew where it would be found and who would find it. Yeah, who would find it, yeah. Uh, the kids, yeah. So it's shock so value for the viewer, the viewer but it's supposed to be shock value for who is finding it. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It's one of those taboo because things. It's like, what, what, what can you, who can you shock the most? Who, who can you absolutely terrify you, children? Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And it was probably, um, was it a regular school or was it like a, like a, like a, a school? I don't remember if they were in uh, uniforms or not. I don't remember. I don't remember. That would have been really cool. <laughs> oh, what episode was that? Do we know what episode that was? Um, ooh, seven, maybe six? Six, six, six or seven. Six or seven. I don't think it was A. Hell, it could have been a five. I don't know. Yeah, the, the only picture that I'm pulling up is her coming up the staircase. Yeah. yeah. Let, me, let me see. I can pull up on my phone. I have them all on my phone. Um, six, you think? Start there. She's a two. What's the name of this? Um, I don't know. I just saw it. Oh. Episode five is Frank Frank Part Two. Um, six is like Origins of something, and then yeah, seven's uh, Dark Cousin. I forget what eight was. I think it was like the coat hanger. Coat hanger. Or no, it was nine. Is nine. It was right at the end. Nine, it? Eight is the Christmas episode. Isn't it right at the end, Shelly? Of the episode? I think, I think, yeah, that's when they do it. Oh, Mary Eunice. Like, why? Well, no, it's not at the end because that's when they take that's her to the hospital and Monsignor kills her in the episode and everything. Oh, yeah. If they go back to asylum, like how would you guys want them to tie in everything? Like, how would they do that? The aliens need to be important to any something outside of Kit to tie it together. The aliens have a plan for for, for something or other, and maybe something that was going on in one of the other seasons was the aliens too. We just didn't get to see the aliens, and then all of a sudden things are like connected. You know, like maybe uh, uh, what Jimmy and and Bet and Dot's child. Is the same thing. Maybe Jimmy. Right. Like that. that would be cool. Maybe the whole thing is aliens. That's yeah, the yeah. final answer. Maybe that's the American horror story because we're terrified of the unknown and we don't know about outer space and the aliens. Well, there's that crazy little bitch, Jenny. <laughs> okay. I feel like Mallory's got to have something to do with aliens. Or aliens obviously must want something to do because that bitch like they can't like they're obviously watching Earth. So if they saw like all the shit that Mallory could do, like how would how would they not want to be at least intrigued or at least like 
You know what I mean? Like, I feel like if there's going to be aliens, we're going to see Mallory or something. Oh, that bitch okay, could have went back in time. Yeah, see, that's the problem. When, when he decided to link these shows together, then it creates this. If it just stayed an anthology show, none of these questions will be coming up, you know? Yeah, but I think he knew all along. He did. He did. Oh, Jenny. Pepper was like the only... She was the first... Was Very Pepper first. the first? Uh, she was the first crossover. Yes, yeah, she was the first crossover. Yeah, Pepper was. Mm -hmm. And then they, we had uh, Arden was in Freak Show, wasn't he? Or was he yes. just mentioned? He was in Freak yeah. Show. Well, his son. His son played his, his son played the character Arden. played him, him, but yeah, James Cromwell wasn't. Cromwell. But his son was. Right. Which I believe he's James Cromwell Jr., but I could very well be wrong on that. What the fuck sure. is the we connection from Colt to any other season? Like Colt, Colt, they mentioned Lana in Colt. Um, she wasn't going to do Lana Winters or Rachel Maddow, um, the shows. So they're acknowledging mm -hmm. the characters from Asylum exist in the characters of Colt. And Colt did happen before Roanoke, didn't yeah. it? No. No. Because it was the 2000 whatever election during Colt. Yeah. Colt was yeah. like the most recent up to date until Apocalypse happened because that's futuristic. Well, no, then. Well, I meant like the end of Roanoke, though. Like yeah. The interview with uh, Lee and Lana and all that crap that went down. Like, what year was that? I, I don't remember. Um, well. Because Asylum was, what year was Johnny? That was four. No, that was Jim. No, Johnny, her son. 12 or 13. No, no, no. What year was that when she when he came to kill her? Yeah, like 12 or 13, right? 2012, 2013? What? I'm imagining if it was present day, like the show, it was 2012 when. Oh, 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 the show was 2012. Yeah, that's right. They're all one, two, three, four, five. Um, so if that was 2012, so they could have been Roanoke. The Roanoke interviews and the Johnny interviews could have been not, not that many years apart from each other. So Lana would look similarly. And what year was Hotel? Because. No, oh, Lord, don't get on hotels timeline. Was that 2015? Because what was the year that Holden went missing? Was that wasn't that like 10? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a few years before. All all, of, all of the seasons are numerically right. Season one is 2001, 11, 12, 13, 14. Whatever. But yeah, he was it was four or five years before all that happened. The Holden went missing. I always thought that the events of uh, not like Roanoke, Roanoke, but like Return to Roanoke, that was after Colt, right? Because that was that was the night um, uh, that Michael did that thing with the warlocks. It was the same night because it was the Blood Moon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait, 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 is it the same blood moon though? How often does the blood moon? Come? I mean, it was the same year. It was like twenty fifth, what, what twenty sixteen, seventeen. So yeah, maybe Roanoke even eighteen or nineteen because Roanoke uh, had a time jump too. So it, I remember hearing like that was the same night. So it's like it actually goes like murder house, like it goes cult, then like Roanoke in a pot. Like that's so weird. Well, cult. I'm so confused. <laughs> cult, cult is cult. We know for sure that it's cult timeline because it happened on election night, and then in the time frame around before and after election night. So we know the specific day and time cult took place, and so you can go off of that, go off of cult, depending on what happens. So, cult November. What, what was election night? November twentieth. 
Uh, I don't remember. Was it the sixth November sixteenth? November sixteenth. Yes, yeah, it's, 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 it's 2016, November sixteenth, November twentieth, November. That's cult. And then cult had what? A year after it as well. It has the time jump. Right after that, would have been 2017. Because how? I think he ran for Senate within a year of, of Trump being elected. And so it would have been, the, the midterms would have been in 2018. So he was running for Senate in 2000, uh, into 2017, going into 2018, get, going into that cycle. Because they, they start very early. They start like, you know, nine months uh, to a year early going into the election year. So 2017, beginning of 2018 would be when Kai was running for Senate. So that's where Colt what was the time jump from return to Roanoke to the, the finale of Roanoke? Six months, I thought. Didn't they say on there it was six months? Well, because remember it was Lee's trial and all that shit. It went oh, down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give you at the end. Not be like, um, <coughs> I think the two shows were, were six months apart, but the end with the Paley Fest and then the investigation at the house and then um, the interviews. Yeah, I, the trial had to have gone on what at least a year, or you know, in between with all the delays and scheduling and, and all that. So it had to be. I would say a year would be really, really small, maybe even more. I have to go back to Roanoke and Kate. Roanoke. I'm, I'm looking more forward to watching. We gotta do just a video on all the timelines. Like, damn. Yeah. I'm sure there's. I'm sure there's documentation and timelines out there. You can do there's one a, on. There's a couple good ones. I'll send you the link to them. Because, yeah, I had to look up some stuff too to explain it. And it, it what do you guys think about this question? Why do we not see the angel of death in any other season? A good That's one. a good question. That's a really good question. Because I was good. hoping that we, look, that we would. Yeah, and that's such a beautiful character. I could see why we didn't see her in Coven because of the witches. Half of the witches that died went to their own situation, like hell or whatever. So I guess she had no control over that. Mm -hmm. But like with Freak Show, like we got something similar to her, Edward Mordrake, but that wasn't her. Maybe but that's guess, maybe each season. Maybe that's why so though, because angel of death. Okay, maybe that's why we didn't see her in Freak Show because when a freak dies, they go to their um, everlasting performance or whatever. Right. So I guess she had no control over that. But why didn't we see that bitch? In, well, I guess we didn't see her in the hotel either because when they die, they're stuck at the hotel. Same with Roanoke. Murder house. They're stuck at the murder house. It could just be situational to what the only season we, we should have seen her in was cult. Cult. Oh yeah. Because when they died, they yeah. didn't they're not stuck. Yeah, Murder House, any... Roanoke, and um Well, Hotel. we shouldn't have seen her in Murder case. House, really, if you think mm -hmm. about it, because I mean she can't collect their soul, they're stuck at the murder house. You know, yeah, it would have right. been interesting to see her when Addie died because it wasn't in the murder house and she was like a pure soul. That would have been really. That cool. would have been. That would have been yeah. like a beautiful moment. Or we could have saw her when Constance, like when uh, Michael died. If we would have had that, just that one scene. In See, apocalypse, that, that would have made the, the the whole car hitting worth it. Had it been her who took him, I think that would have been worth it. Wait, no, this this yeah. Um, her character at the end. What do you guys think on that one? Oh, the badass! Yes, that, that messes me up every time. I really like, what, what was her name? I forget. And you know what? Debbie's gonna get mad because this is like Debbie's favorite character. Wait, which character? Princess Conroy's character in the in, in the when asylum. she's when in, in she's the the asylum. Boys, when they transfer the asylum when she's like gonna walk oh, out the dance. I don't remember. She said. <laughs> she said something like uh, she was a housing lady and she was killing the people and uh, <laughs> I don't know she was going to make dude or I was doing the taxpayers a, a favor <laughs> my reputation for <laughs> mm -hmm. but see like uh, what confuses me about her is at first they present it like this is just all in Jude's head it's just complete coincidence she just happens to resemble the angel of death but then she makes some comments 
as if she was the embodiment of the of Angel of Death. So I don't know which direction Ryan, went, Ryan was going with. I wanted it to be like since we never saw her again. I wanted it to be some kind of embodiment that was just in Jude's head the whole time. There really was no angel. That's what I. That's what I thought. You know what but I then mean. Then Lana saw her. Uh, her um, right. You know. Well, yeah, that, yeah, that's the thing. See, I don't know which direction he was going with because there's so many little uh, doorways open for little avenues to make you think one way and then make you think this way and then make you think this way. So I, I'm, I'm just curious what you guys thought. We should have saw the angel of death in Colt and I guess Apocalypse too. Like, you know what I mean? Like I could see the, all the other seasons because you know, she can't collect freaks, like she can't deal with witches, whatever. But like, I guess the reason they didn't have her in Colt was because they wanted to keep it away from Supernatural that season, but well, it would have been cool to have a connection. Yeah. See, I don't, I think with these connections, I think they're just sprinkling them in, in here. Everyone wants to keep people on their toes to keep people in, interested. I don't think that the writers are sitting in the writer room really, really with an encyclopedia going through their own their own crap. And I think with like things with the Angel of Death or Edward Mordrake, I think each season has its own flavor for what death is going to represent, what you know, a hell and heaven and, and all that's going to represent. So I don't think there would ever would have been a thought in, in the writer's room to bring the Angel of Death in any of the other seasons because she was very much a... 1960s kind of glamour type of, of feel to her um, for that season. But, but she was really obviously like an ancient situation because you know what I mean? Yeah, I just don't think they, they're not thinking as much as we are on, on all this stuff. I think when they, they write the season as its own and then they think, well, we're you know, oh, here's a good spot where we can connect uh, cult. You know, they just do it a, a very small sprinkling of stuff like look at cult the only connection cult had at all was that one comment about lana winners they threw that mm -hmm. in as an easter egg so i mean i guess that could have been a Roanoke connection too yeah absolutely hey stop I'm still trying to think, like, why they added the whole Anne Frank thing, like... Oh, you won't get me started. Like, why? Like, that was just so unnecessary, like... Say hi. Hi. Oh, Lord, they're gonna fight. <laughs> We're gonna have a dog wrestling match. Oh Lord, you two! No, they're fighting behind me. Dog fight. We're gonna go. Uh oh. No. I mean, I don't know what more else to say about Asylum. I really love this season. Yeah, what are we no, giving I... this season out of ten? Uh, eight. It's this my second favorite season. It's my favorite season. I say eight. Yeah. It was my favorite for a long time, and Freak Show took over as my favorite when I did a rewatch of Freak Show. I I just really really connected with Freak Show. Yeah, so yeah I it's it. really hard for me too because Freak Show is my second favorite, but it's really hard for me between the two. I agree with you there because I really really enjoy Freak Show. Everybody gives Freak Show crap, but I, 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 I think. It's because I can't decide it's based off of it's you know it's really good actually. I can't uh, decide it's, it's between my favorite being Asylum Coven or Hotel. I cannot decide between See, those three. Show, One of them is my favorite. I think well, it would depend on the mood. Yeah, I, I think Freak Show though is the writer's best writing. It's so intimate. Each one of those characters are, are developed so well in, in that show. And, and I can understand why Freak Show didn't get a lot of, of hype and, and attention because Freak Show was really slow and it was really intimate. It was really quaint. It was kind of weird. It wasn't really horrorish. Because uh, they the the characters. Yeah, mm -hmm, exactly. The writers really, really like the characters. characters. I loved it. If you don't like I character development, it. people were just waiting for the gore factor. Exactly. And and getting that's not what it was about. Me. They the, didn't get it till the very end, and then they were like, "Holy shit!" But they were mad they weren't getting it all the way through. Freak Show's horror was in the the mind manipulation of 
the the freak show. It's right. With Elsa Mars, you know, manipulating all those people to make them think that they're family, that they're this and that. Just just like in um, what's the movie is based off of? Um, freak. Freak. Uh, same thing. It's all about the mind man manipulation and everything. Mm. It's showing you that, you know, it happens to all of us. And that's the scary part that if it can happen to people like that, who people look down on and you would expect it to happen to, well, and then you see shit that that's happened to me in, in that way, some form or another. It's scary to people. Yeah. yeah. I think Freak Show has some of the most disturbing stuff in it of the entire series. I think so too. I would definitely agree with you on that. Can't wait till we get to Freak Show. Dandy's definitely one of my favorite villains for sure. I still He's think crazy. the most glorious season is like Rono. Roanoke. Roanoke. Hands down. Roanoke, Roanoke, yeah. Roanoke, is, Roanoke is the scariest season and Roanoke is the goriest season. That, uh, at least I can give them credit. I can give them credit. Roanoke. Each episode was like jam-packed. Roanoke hit at the right place at the right time and Ryan Murphy was so smart to do a parody on freaking Americans and reality TV. I mean, yeah. by using the stupidity of reality TV in the midst of this horror stuff, I thought it was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Right? Yeah. I love Reality yeah. TV in itself is an American horror story. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was cool at the... look at where it is now. Literally. Yep. I'm gonna have fun with Coven. I don't think I, I again. I don't think Coven has as many un, unanswered questions. Yeah, Coven's gonna be interesting for me. I I, I just rewatched it recently. I'm gonna skim through it, but some of my favorite characters of the whole series are in Coven. But then Coven's my least favorite season. I Coven doesn't hold my attention through all of it. It, it goes off into side tangents. But I like uh, Kathy Bates' character and Angela Bassett's character. Some of my favorite characters. Wow. All right, we done. I guess that's it. Yay. All right. Asylum. Okay, and then next week, Melinda's going to have her little uh, uh, coven. Uh, okay, no. I, their figurines, their bobbleheads. I wish they were bobbleheads. Oh, I want to put one on my freaking uh, Don't they sell dashboard. Them? Those things with the big heads aren't bobbleheads? Little I fucking wish. I want one on my dashboard. They're not bobbleheads. Oh, they, oh, yeah, there they are. Yeah, and they're not. No. I want the pops, but I forgot to get them, and now you now they're too expensive. I want to bet and drop pops. And even people are buying people are buying them up, like collectors are buying them up, uh -huh. and then they're selling them for an arm and a leg to people who want to buy them. It's ridiculous. I know. I, know. I, I all I want is a bet and dot pop. That's it. The only one is a twisty, but I want the exclusive one. Yeah. All right. We're going. Hey. Don't All right. Stop. All right, kids. Good night, guys. Good night. All right. Bye. Hey. Okay.